hello everyone welcome to another tutorial my name is agnes in today's tutorial we're going to be doing this mosaic top i love the design i love the little buttons at the front uh the puffy sleeves with a little bit of the ruffle detail and yeah the ribbing as a top as a whole i really like it because it has full coverage i love this design the ribbing at the bottom and um, this is how the back looks like so we are going to go straight into the video and uh, yeah please don't don't forget to subscribe to my channel let's get started so for what i used uh, to make this top is this acrylic yarn it is a thin yarn 50 grams 199 meters a ball and it recommends a three millimeter hook. So you can use any other yarn type that you have that recommends and the recommended hook size. So yeah, um, I'm going to be using two colors and for the hook size, I'll be using a three millimeter hook as recommended by the yarn, a scissors and a tape measure. So I'll start with this color. We are going to start with a foundation chain and you are going to make a slip knot and then make a chain that is as long as your bust measurements minus two inches just to cater for the stretch so my bust measurements is 30 inches so if i subtract that i'll make a chain that is equivalent equivalent to 28 inches and one more important thing your chain should be multiples of four so multiples of four so this is my chain already that i have it's 28 inches i had 30 inches of bust measurements minus 2 28 so make sure your chain is a multiple of four okay so now we are going to start on row one and we are going to add two more chains because we'll be using the half double crochet and then we're going to skip these two chains and into the third chain make a half double crochet and go into the second chain make a half double crochet and into the third one make a half double crochet and you're going to make half double crochets for this row until you get to the end so the number of your half double crochets should be a multiple of four i'm sorry for my voice i'm i'm done with covid <laughs> so yeah that's why i sound weird i've been keeping this tutorial for a while because you know i wasn't able to speak so well but now i can do it because i'm recovering so do that i'll meet you at the end of the row All right, so I'm at the end of the row and uh, this is how it looks. So I'm going to chain two, turn our work and make a half double crochet in that very first stitch. Go into your next stitch, make a half double crochet. Third stitch, make a half double crochet. And we are going to make half double crochets all through for this row and i'll meet you at the end of the row so that we can change color and start on our mosaic pattern all right so i'm coming to the end of the row and this is going to be my last stitch <coughs> and uh, we will not complete this half double crochet so we'll just leave the three three loops on get our next color and pull through all with that color Okay, and then we're going to chain two. Then turn our work so that we can begin on our row three. So we will be uh, carrying the yarn along. So this color, I'll be carrying it along because I'll need it when I get to the end of the row. So we are going to make a half double crochet in that very first stitch. Don't forget to carry the yarn. Yeah, this is where it is and make a half double crochet and then we're going to make our second half double crochet 
our third half double crochet and then now our fourth stitch is going to be different okay so we will work in our first row we are going to skip our second row and go back to our first row all right so this is how we do it so on top of that fourth double crochet this one but we'll be working in the below one so on top of our fourth half double crochet that's where we're going to insert our stitch and it will be a double crochet so we'll go just on top of it in between here okay and then make a double crochet So we skipped one stitch at the top so now we are going to go into the next three stitches so this is the one we skipped so now go into the next three stitches with half double crochets that's one half double crochet second and our third half double crochet so what we are going to do again is make that long uh, extended double crochet that is in the fourth stitch on top of that half double crochet in there make a, a double crochet all right so now we're going to go ahead and make three double crochets remember we're skipping a stitch behind there where we made our double crochet that's our second half double crochet and our third half double crochet so our next stitch is the extended double crochet that's into our fourth stitch there like this and we complete this double crochet like that all right so next is our three half double crochets And then the double crochet into our first row that's on the fourth stitch into the first row right so this is going to be the pattern until we get to the end of this row and then i'll come meet you right there before we change colors again Uh, so we are at the end of the row and uh, by the end of the row you should have four stitches of half double crochet so you're always going to end this row with four stitches the row that you start with three stitches of half double crochet you'll end with four stitches of half double crochet so now don't finish off that last half double crochet but change color and chain two then turn your work and now you're going to be carrying your second yarn along so you're going to make a half double crochet in that very first stitch go into your next stitch make a half double crochet and basically for this row it's going to be half double crochets all through till the end <coughs> so make half double crochets in every stitch until you get to the end and then i'll meet you to finish that off so that we can start on our next row all right see you at the end so this is how we're going to end off our fourth row uh, by changing color back to the lighter one and uh, then we're going to chain two turn our work and start on our fifth row so for our fifth row it's going to be 
different so we are going to make one half double crochet we are carrying the yarn along so one half double crochet and our next stitch is going to be the extended double crochet so we are going to go into the previous row that's the light color row and make an extended double crochet on top of that second half double crochet like that so it's we're making this in the middle stitch so we are going to make three half double crochets now and into that very middle stitch of the three half double crochets down there in the light color that's where we'll make our double crochet this one right here so we are working in the middle one you see there that's where we make our double crochet and then we're going to do three half double crochets in the next three stitches skipping this one that we worked already <coughs> you see how it looks at the back so yeah make three half double crochets and then a double crochet in that middle one the three half double crochets so you already see the middle one that makes it easier as you go on just because you know where to insert your hook and then skip and make three half double crochets and then a double crochet in that middle one and as easy as that so you're going to do this until you get to where you're finishing your row and i'll meet you just to show you the difference there with our third row so our fifth row and our third row are different and this is basically going to be the continuous pattern so we'll be repeating our third row fourth row and fifth row that's going to be the repeat so you just need to know that when you're starting one row you have three half double crochets and then when you're starting the other row you have one half double crochet before you do the the double crochet all right see you at the end all right so i'm coming to the end and uh, this is going to be my last double crochet so it's in this second one and then um, at the end of this row you should have two half double crochets so that's one and uh, that is my second one and then don't finish this off you know with we are going to change color so don't complete your half double crochet so just make an incomplete half double crochet and then pull through the th three loops with the other color of yarn So chain two turn your work and now we work a, a row of half double crochets so this is with this color it's basically going to be just a row of half double crochets one half double crochet in every stitch until the end and then i'll show you one more last time how we did our third row because it's going to be a repeat of the third row fourth row and fifth row okay i'll see you at the end see the difference we have four here and then here we have two okay and at the beginning it's also different we have three here and then we be begin with one on this other one okay so i'll see you at the end <coughs> <coughs> so yeah 
uh, we are at the end and this is my last stitch so it's going to be an incomplete half double crochet and then I'll just pull through with the white yarn and then chain two and now since our previous white was uh, one half double crochet now we're going to do three half double crochets first just like we did on our third row so that's two and that is three and then we're going to do the double crochet that is in the middle middle uh, half double crochet there and then we do three half double crochets and then a half a double crochet sorry so we do a double crochet in the middle stitch there so basically this is it uh, I think it's a beautiful stitch so and it's easy as long as you repeat rows three four and five you'll be able to do it so yeah make sure you're not losing any of the stitches somewhere it is same stitches every row same number of stitches and yeah so continue to do this i'll do this until i have enough coverage for my bust area okay so from my under breast until the top of my you know bust that's how how long i want it to be and then below i'll put a ribbing so just keep that in mind do it as long as you want and then i'll come and show you the next uh, step and how many inches i made for mine right so this is what i have so far and it is six inches long so that's what i want for my bust area uh, yeah so we are going to join these together and we are going to join from the right side so it's <coughs> we are going to work from the right side and i'm going to cut this white yarn off because i just want to use the mustard And we'll join uh, using single crochets for this. So I'm just going to put a single crochet here. So it's like in the middle of the stitch and then at the top of the stitch. sorry I'm out of focus
so we are at the end and this is how it looks like so we are going to go uh, down with the buttons so i'm going to chain one and then i'll make a incomplete half double crochet in here going in again twice three times four times and then pull through all the loops and then chain one and then i'm going to skip <coughs> skip the next stitch and into the one after that insert my hook and then pull through once pull through twice three and four <coughs> and then pull through chain one skip one go into the next set your hook pull through once pull through twice three and then four then pull through chain one skip one stitch and repeat the process until you get to the bottom All right, I'll see you once you are done with the buttons. All right, so once you're at the bottom, you're just going to slip stitch i like to make it secure so i'm going through you know a couple of stitches and then just chain one and cut off the yarn so that's done and now we'll go on and work on our west band i think at the bottom so yeah so we're going to reattach our yarn <coughs> this is at the bottom excuse me like that and chain one chain two and three So we are going to go into this very first stitch with a front post. Into the next stitch with a front, a back post, sorry. Front post, that's our third one. And fourth stitch, a back post. Now, fifth stitch is a front post sixth stitch is a back post seventh stitch front post eighth stitch back post ninth stitch tenth stitch and so our eleventh stitch we are going to make a decrease so we are going to go under two stitches instead of one and make our front post so my bust measurements and my waist measurements are not that much apart so that is why i make a decrease in that in the 11th stitch however if your bust is way bigger than your waist you will have to make more decreases so i would suggest you can make a, a decrease maybe after every six stitch or maybe seventh stitch or eighth stitch or even fifth stitch so that will depend on how much of a difference you have because we want our lower part to be, you know, to kind of uh, be tight on our waist and not so huge like our butt because our bust area is bigger. So I'm making decreases after every 10th stitch. So you can determine to make yours after every sixth stitch or after every seventh stitch or whichever that you feel like okay so this is not constant for everyone just make an adjustments in 
according to your preference so i'm going to continue making decreases after every 10th stitch and i uh, will meet you once i'm done all right so i'm at the end of the row and i'm going to close this off with a slip stitch on top of that chain three so now we're going to chain a two and make a front post where we had a front post and then make a back post where we had a back post front post where we had a front post so for this row we are not making any decreases we only made decreases on the first row so you're just going to repeat front post back post front post back post until you get to the end of this row once you're at the end make a slip stitch and repeat 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 until you get to the height that you want okay i'll come tell you how many rows i did and how long my top is so the length of this is going to be your preference and i'll meet you once you have what you desire All right, so this is what I have so far. And this is one, two, three, four, five, six. So I made six rows of ribbing. And uh, so far I have about almost eight inches. <coughs> yeah, it's almost eight inches. So you can go on and make it longer. I just wanted a short one. I went ahead and did one of the sleeves and I will go ahead and show you how I did that with the other sleeve. So we'll start with this here, the strap and then do the sleeve once we have the strap. So just determine where you want your straps to be. Normally I just go according to my bra, where my bra is, passes. So yeah, I tried my top on and knew where my sleeves were. I wanted my my straps to be so that's where I want them to be between this area and it is four inch four stitches sorry in there so I will reattach my yarn and make four stitches on this to this other side so try on your top and see where you want your straps to be and mark that area both front and back and then you can make straps like this so reattach the yarn <coughs> and i'm going to work under the stitches because i want them to be firm but i'm using single crochets so that's one single crochet second single crochet third and then my last one so i have four single crochets Okay, that's how it looks and now we're going to change this to half double crochet so i will chain a one turn my work and into that very fast single crochet i'm going to make a half double crochet go into the second one make a half double crochet third half double crochet and my fourth half double crochet then chain one turn your work and we work four half double crochets again my last one and then chain one turn your work and work four half double crochets so that's how it's going to be until you get to the height that you want i wanted i did this until i had about 9.5 inches long because it is a bit stretchy <coughs> and for those uh, I think I didn't mention the size of the top. This that I'm making is an extra, extra small. So, two X's. Yep. Alright, so this is what I have. 
and uh, it's about 9.5 inches long so I'm going to join this to the back like this and uh, we will join from the this is the right side so we'll join from the wrong side something like this i hope i figure out how to do this yep this works so I insert my hook should be on the other side yep and I'm just going to slip stitch through all the four <coughs> excuse me Since I need to work on the outer side for my sleeve, so I think I need to get back to this other side. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to just figure a way of slip stitching back to the other side so that I can start on my sleeve. So yeah, I managed to get to the other side and now I'm going to start on a row of single crochets. So our first row of the sleeve is going to be a row of single crochets. So since I'm working here at the bottom where the, the stitches are already defined, I'll just insert one single crochet in every stitch until I get to the other side where we have our strap and the stitches are not defined. And then, yeah, we'll see what to do there. All right, so I'm down with the defined stitches and this is where I am. So I'm just going to skip this corner stitch and go into this first one here on the strap and make a single crochet. <coughs> and since we're working half double crochets, I'm going to make a single crochet in every half double crochet and on top of that stitch. So like this, this is the top of the stitch. In the middle of the stitch and at the top of the stitch middle of the stitch and at the top of the stitch that is not really defined so I'll just go at the top of this one top of the stitch mid stitch and at the top so I'm basically going to do that until I get to where we started off. So yeah, so I'll meet you once you are done.
all right so i'm at the end of that row of single crochets and i'm going to close this off with a slip stitch like this so we're going to start our row of half double crochet so i chain one and we're going to make a decrease here so i'll go into this stitch and then into this stitch only the front loops like this I have four loops there then yarn over and pull through I have three loops then pull through all so that's an invisible decrease and then in these two so in going to the next stitch and make a half double crochet half double crochet and basically I'm going to make half double crochets all along until I get to this corner I'll make a decrease so I'm at the corner and I made to make a decrease here so I will go through these two loops like this front loops and make a decrease and then go into the next stitch and continue with my half double crochets And I'll meet you once you have six stitches left before the top because we need to make an increase there. So we're making an increase in the total number of 12 stitches. And yeah, so now I'm at the top where I have my six stitches remaining to the top. Now here, and I'll make my increases in these stitches. So I'll be putting two stitches in one. So that's one and that's two. So I have two increases that's one and that's two three increases and I'm going to do this for a total of 12 uh, stitches so I'll make an increase in 12 stitches six other before the top and six after the top okay so this is going to be around our shoulder to top all right so I made my increases up here and now i'm back at the bottom where i started my row and we're going to close this off with a slip stitch <coughs> and then we'll make a decrease so i'll make a decrease here and a decrease there and then make half double crochets until i get to the other side and make a decrease at that corner too here some other corner and I'll make my decrease and then continue with my half double crochets so once we are at the top, we'll not make any increases again unless you want more puffy sleeves, then you can make some more increases. But I will just go in with one uh, half double crochet in every stitch until I get back to the bottom. Continued making the decreases here and there until they cross each other. So this is what I have. I did six inches long but uh, once my two uh, sides my two corners got to together i stopped decreasing all right but the difference is that every first stitch of the row i was inserting a stitch in that very first stitch so the chain two wasn't counting as a stitch anymore okay so now once you have the height that you need then we'll go to do we are going to do the decreases depends on the uh, how big your sleeve is mine is not too big so i will not be decreasing in all the stitches i'll be leaving some not decreased so this is how i'm going to do it uh, <coughs> this very first two stitches i'll make a decrease so that's my first decrease two stitches in one and then my second decrease and my third decrease 
and then now my for my next stitch is not going to be a decrease it's just going to be a normal double crochet half double crochet sorry so after that i'll make three decreases this one this two and this is our third decrease and then that next stitch is not going to be a decrease so this is how it's going to be three decreases no decrease three decreases then no decrease and this is just going to depend on the uh, how big your th sleeve is it could be that you're making decreases in every stitch that is if your sleeve is big or maybe you're making two decreases then and no decrease if your sleeve was too small so this is going to depend on that and i'll see you once i'm at the end of this row because then we'll do a single crochet row there all right so i'm at the end of my decreasing row if your sleeve is still too big you can go on and add another row of decreasing but mine is small enough so i'm going to do single crochets in every stitch it's a single crochet in every stitch if your sleeve was still too big at this point you'll just go on with another row of decrease before you do the single crochet row all right i'll meet you once i'm here I'm done with my single crochet row i'll close that off with a slip stitch and now we are going to do the ruffle row which is our last row so i'm going to insert one half double crochet here and then a second one and the chain two counts as a double crochet half double crochet so it's going to be three half double crochets in every stitch and if you want your ruffles more defined you can put four half double crochets in every stitch and then you'll have more ruffles so but for me i'm only doing three stitches in every stitch three half double crochets in every stitch and i'm going to do this until i get to the end of the row all right so i have my two sleeves go on do your next sleeve so that you have two and once you're done your top should look like this all right this is how it should look like um i hope you like it i like it um please don't forget to subscribe uh share comment leave a like uh thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next tutorial i hope i will have recovered by then thank you so much guys bye